So I just start from like uh, Mulpoil. Well, um, this is the, the look and feel like the industrial look and feel that the client was looking for. And then here's some like uh, uh, typical like presentation. And then one thing, um, I would just go through like a different idea or like um, uh, different stuff. Like for example, like um, the entrance is very important as I said, like um, because of the social media um, uh, element. Also like um, how to adapt to like a local um, uh, the local building code is very important in this project as well because then when you can see like this um, this little um, room before you step into the main hall it mm -hmm. was just because um, it slowed, slowed very heavily in Canada and they has to have this um, type of like double door before you get into the entrance so we kind mm -hmm. of like utilize the double door um, as like a, a photo shoot space mm -hmm. uh, uh, to do like um, like a Chinese work as like hot pot um, to do the framework and to do the um, the photo shoot um, um, wing, which is on um, the uh, uh, the light that in the center um, for, for the space here. Um, also, like one thing is, um, uh, for example, let me go to another. Let's go jump back to the picture. Oops. Give me one second. Sure. So, what what kind of tools do you do your your design and uh, rendering? What kind of uh, tools? Uh, yeah, it's tools. Like, yeah. Um, well, it's basically you see a lot of pretty picture, but mm -hmm. then you know, like at the end, it's all about like cat work, like um, mm. a lot of drawing work. So you only like right now that uh, what I can show you guys is only like. Um, all the uh, like pretty rendering work, but then the, the design work actually, I mean, the, um, the architecture drawing work is actually like 80% of the project. It's a lot of mm -hmm. uh, management going back and forth with um, clients, contractor, um, picking materials, solving problem on the side, and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so going back to the, um, the photos, um, you can see like there's a lot of like cage kind of like like red um, red cage on top like on the ceiling. Actually, that was because of the local building code as well. They require all the um, uh, hot pot store to have like a um, direct exhaust pipe um, on top of each pot. So each mm -hmm. hot pot has to has like exhaust pipe. So then the first thing we, we have to solve is like how do I deal with those like ugly um, exhaust pipe? And also like how to deal with like that ugly um, um, two-way evolving door. So mm -hmm. at the end, we kind of create like um, like a more popping element to just like like um, cage it. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. just like using to um, get into more like industrial feeling, um, kind of like frame it as like a, a hip element. Also like we add into like um, the light in the front and then we kind of uh, make it more pop to just like um, try to ignore the happiness, also like mm -hmm. the ugliness of the stainless steel itself. Mm -hmm. So those are like a couple of things that we, we attack, um, attack the, how we attack the um, local building code. And mm -hmm. then the second thing is, um, it was a pretty tight space. And then we have to think about a lot of things like, um, you know, the, the um, turning table time, like the budget and all that. I mean, those mm -hmm. are the main goal that we have to um, solve before we start the design. So also like because it is such a tight space um, on the side, there's a lot of um, mirror on the side that we have designed to just make the mm -hmm. space look bigger. So going back to the uh, rendering itself, so we have like like the mirror option right there. Um, so on each wall, there's a mirror on top. And then actually on top of the mirror, you see like a big piece of wood. Those mm -hmm. are also like another um, decorative um, awning that was hiding all the um, exhaust put on top. Mm. Got you. And then, and then also like other element will be, um, um, I feel like my like studio or all of us, like we have um, same idea of like making certain culture, like well, our culture, like the Chinese culture more hip and pop. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of element, for example, like um, the divider between um, the hot pot seat. 
there's um we we kind of like make we kind of we design all the um Asian Chinese element um to be more international, more mixed culture, more um user friendly kind of. So、mm-hmm. everything actually tie back to our background, also the client's background. Mm-hmm. So that's it. That's a more renderings, and you can see more like the overall, like the fence, um, like behind the seating is also like、uh, came from like the pattern of the client's logo. Um, so there's a lot of little detail that we're going back to like the client's、um, image, the culture, um, also like um, uh, we try to tie it back into the same look and feel. Hmm. Hmm. Any questions, Chu? Yeah, actually, I really liked how you uh, we are、uh, using the Chinese element and the material to、uh, to apply the different touch and feeling in the space to create a、um, more contemporary style、um, in for in this restaurant. That's very impressive. And then I also wonder because you you are you are the、uh, you you practice in the United States. So、mm-hmm. when you need to communicate to get the building call in、uh, our state, so how 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 you can、uh, get this coordination work out? So how we get this work out is um um well the client and us we can find a local architect to help us understand the building code and submit the drawing actually, and then we work on the design part and then we work on the part that、uh, communicate with the contractor as well. Also, like right now, I feel like a lot of projects they are very international already.、Mm. Um, this project, a lot of items and furniture are actually built in China, and then so we have to talk to like people in China, like the chi- Chinese team that we have, and then we have to communicate about like how to you know custom make those furniture,、um, how to you know find the material that is very different, like the material over there. Even the name,、um, the translation is so different than what we have here. So、mm-hmm. we've been we've been lucky that we have a really good team to help us out、um, to doing all that, and、mm-hmm. then also we work kind of like smoothly、um, doing all the measurement. Also, like even measurement is different. We are using inch, and then they're using like、um, the、uh, ma- metric. The metric. Yeah. yeah. So、mm, I see. Wow, that's that's always nice. You know, when I was in、uh, my old company, we also working in, on international projects, right? So right. we always partnership with a, a local architect to to do the translation,、mm-hmm. uh, and then then they can submit to the city. Yeah, I, I think this is a good approach. You can expand your business、uh, in a different area. So there's a kitchen. Yeah, that's the kitchen. Just、um, yeah, pretty much it.、Um, okay. So okay. here I、um, I share another project. It's um it's called Charlie Define. It's a it's a tea shop in downtown LA. It just actually it was、um, soft opening today.、Mm. So this is um so this project um we are more doing like the project managing pro- um kind of um uh, uh like a project managing role in here. Um, we have kind of guy like、um, the designer,、um, the contractor with the、uh, local. We are we are more like、um, uh, like a director at at the behind the entire project. We are、mm. also the、um, uh, marketing team behind the entire project as well.、Mm. So like starting、um, at the well, you can tell like、um, all of the project、um, that we. We do or we involve in. It's always about social media. Okay. So okay. here I、um, I share another project. It's um it's called Charlie Define. It's a it's a tea shop in downtown LA. It just actually it was、um, soft opening today.、Mm. So this is um so this project um we are more doing like the project managing pro- um kind of um uh, uh like a project managing role in here. Um, we have kind of guy like、um, the designer,、um, the contractor with the、uh, local. We are we are more like、um, uh, like a director at at the behind the entire project. We are、mm. also the、um, uh, marketing team behind the entire project as well.、Mm. 
So like starting um, at the well, you can tell like um, all of the project um, that we, we do or we involve in, it's always about social media. It's always about like a, a picture friendly kind of store, like an Instagram friendly. Mm -hmm. store. This store is. Um, let me show you the interior. This is how it was when it got built. So there was um, it was a before it was a sushi bar, and then mm -hmm. we kind of picked down everything, and then we just uh, reinstall the item. Um, it's more like a like a renovation project. This is how it looked before as well. Mm -hmm. um, so um, what the challenge, the biggest challenge of this project will be um, because it was built during COVID. So um, like the submission process was very slow. Um, and then also like um, there's a lot of difficulty, like uh, for example, it's in downtown LA. There's a lot of, as you know, like um, protesting involved. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of, um, you know, destroying the store and everything kind of involved. And the client kind of smartly um, built like a gate in front of the, um, the store. So at the beginning, um, if you see the rendering, let me show you the rendering. There's no gate. Like right now, there's a, a big white um, calf bar in front of the um, signage. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, all our our thought was having a store with like you know very clear kind More of open. transparent open kind of feel. But then mm -hmm. that doesn't happen in downtown LA. Mm. Yeah. So this is I this see. store is a is a modern type of like tea um, tea shop tea shop. Um, it's more like healthy, um, try to like introduce more like Chinese tea culture, but then mix with more like uh, something, you know, the Westerner can um, accept easier, uh, easily. For example, like they mix tea with milk, like make um, their own type of milk tea mm -hmm. and then uh, they introduce it to the uh, Western culture. And then for their grand opening, we are handling the press release as well. So we create um, are very interesting drinks for them. Um, we kind of like do it together. Um, the owner also, also happened to develop the recipe um, on herself. This is a mala um, mm -hmm. latte. So as mm -hmm. you know, like mala is like a kind of like a soup base or like a, a Sichuan style um, um, Chinese mm -hmm. spiciness um, like that we, we all know in our background, but then like introducing like a spicy and numbing kind of coffee it's a pretty um, trendy and new thing that um, we want to get the media exposure to. So wow. this project, we do it from like um, the beginning uh, of like building and then doing the marketing as well. We also involve like um, some donation, like mm -hmm. stop Asian also type of donation in the marketing as well. So this is like mm -hmm. one of the project that um, uh, uh, I would say like if you're in downtown area, please you know go check it out. They have a really good tea. For sure. So that's what would be great when you can share with us the address. I can put it on my video as well. Sure, so sure, that, sure. Show, show me the address. Show me the... Uh, I can put a map to show the people how to get there. And then let me also share with you like... Um... And then also I really like the, this type of fusion, right? So coffee is more like not that spicy at all. So I know that they probably will put some uh, seasoning to make it slightly spicy, but it's this, this actually type a of... chocolate, uh, chocolate, um, chocolate base, mala yeah. favorite, and then uh, with like numbing, um, uh, spicy thing on top. It's really mm. good. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's just all I like to do is like introducing culture as well. Like, if you see it, like from all my project, it's always like a mixed culture, it's just like you know, how we because our background is from Hong Kong too. Mm -hmm. uh, like Hong Kong people is always like the East meets, meet the West. Like we are always mm -hmm. like finance, like we speak multi languages and then we always learn from like both of the side. I feel like as an international student or like as an um, immigrant, that's like um, our strongest um, point that mm -hmm. you, know, you understand different culture, you'll be able to read or, you know, know more about like two different worlds and then you try to mix it together. Mm -hmm. That's true, and also I, I like I like uh, when um, your project you also it's not only design the space you also design the um, the software and the hardware to support the operation support the business. This is very um, very 
it's not a typical architectural service, you know, that architect would provide to the client. Uh, I really like it. And also, wait, can you show the door again? Oh, the oh, way the door. That the, the, the actual the actual installation. Actual installation. Oh, wait, I can show you like the interior too. Yeah, please. Yeah, I, I would like to show it to to our audience too. And I gotta say, like this project, we have um, a really good team. You yeah. look at the interior and then look at the rendering. Let me show you the rendering. Oh, the rendering is so impressive. Actually. Yeah, so like the rendering is is um, look almost the same as what we have built. So I mean, it's just like great work that I have to you know appreciate from like the contractor for everyone's uh, work. Mm hmm. So you want to see the door? Yeah. See. So because you mentioned that one thing, I, I also want to uh, add some uh, comments here. So uh, when when you should tell when you share with me the the gates actually is additional, but when I when I seeing the picture, um, the, actually the the gates work really well because you create more more uh, more um, massive space. Um, like you, you know, you right now you just put the uh, the 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 shop numbers the five oh seven, but when I see this, this I thought that this is part of the language you want to uh, to frame the store fun mm. to get the people attention. So uh, I and then when you explain to me this is done by something else. So and then when I when I see the picture, I receive different message from the actual work. But you know what, even though. It would, um, it would both work well. Like you know, the people who study the book has mm -hmm. a different idea than the white. You know, they also say like that. Yeah, but when the guy you explain to me, oh, this is the reason I want to put this, and then totally different than what I thought. But it, it's done really well. So first, because this, this is the fake element, so you take pictures, you create a very nice picture frame. So the people inside, they it's really easy to frame the the picture for their for the social media and also i really like you, you the way you took the pictures i believe that is on the on on the next size so you is always well framed uh framed it to take a picture for different kind of purpose that's very nice so uh in, for the interior um so uh, also this is your home space project right so to execute and design this project for you is more more easier than the project you shared with us right yeah well all the project hmm, it's easier but then at the same time it's worse be because of COVID it's just mm -hmm. a lot of um a lot of time that got wasted because of COVID a lot of um, issue it happened because of COVID but um at the end it, it just we're glad to you know um have it open you know mm -hmm. just, um, today so mm -hmm. yeah this is like a bunch of experience of um you know how it's, at some point, like the building was leaking. At some point, um, we were mm -hmm. working. Um, yeah, I, I mean, also like um, at some point, like the details or something like, for example, the light. Um, mm -hmm. There's some light that we wasn't designed to be certain color, but right now the color. Um, for um, you see the uh, the S shape light on the yeah. ceiling. So mm -hmm. that light we were designing um, to be like more of a um, yellow tone ish, mm -hmm. um, but then now it came out blue. So like something mm. like that, it will it will add on to the experience. But then, mm. at the end, the blue is actually um, kind of mimic a skylight. So it's really beautiful to take picture with your phone underneath it. So that's add on to another um, uh, Instagram friendly kind of feature. Mm. Right? Yeah, so, lighting is always important for interior. So and then I, I see that you have different type of lighting source to create a different to uh, uh, to highlight different area and also one, one thing uh, i believe that uh, uh i saw your project you also mentioned that more than one time you really like to put mirror in your space so for this mirror oh. uh, with the lighting <laughs> and actually i see that it's a continuous line in this this uh in this perspective that's kind of really cool <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is an idea from the client's um, uh, uh, branding team. 
So mm. yeah, they that's what they want to mimic too. Like they want to do the um, continuous. Yeah, as you say. I mean, yeah, you can tell too. Yeah, it yeah. is how it is. <laughs> and and like how also, she has like the designer kind of like <laughs> you know like you have the designer mind, so you can tell like by just seeing it at the first time. But then you know, for other people, like sometimes they're like, oh, okay, it's nice. But then you know, mm. why why it is there? Maybe because you know, oh, just want to make the space bigger, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So like talk, speaking of like mirror, small space, um, make the space you know look larger. Um, this is like my uh, my first baby first project pretty much. Um, it's called Wise Box LA. Um, it, it's um, it's in almost the same area that. Um, uh, as the PPS tea shop is, it's just like um, one block mm. away. So why is well, it's always tied back to the um, plant's background. Like for example, like um, the tea shop, the owner loves tea, and then she, she want to introduce tea culture to the Westerner. Um, mm. Here, Wise Box is they want to introduce like uh, Cantonese barbecue um, mm. to like the uh, West, uh, like the American audience. And then also mm. like um, the owner has a background that like her grandpa, grandpa. In Hong Kong, actually opened a Chinese uh, Cantonese barbecue place before, so oh, it's like an inheritance of like the recipe, the um, the you know family idea and all that, and then mm -hmm. also um, be able to like um, to do a project that related to our background, like mm -hmm. you know, Hong Kong is like a, a big place for like you know um, char siu fan. It's like Chinese barbecue pork rice. That's like mm -hmm. the food that we grow up with. It's like home food for us. Mm -hmm. So this project um, is a very tiny space. It's only like um, 500 square feet. And then mm -hmm. inside is it's a big challenge to like build a kitchen. And then I'm mm -hmm. glad the clients was able to like, you know, um, organize the kitchen as well to like help us with um, designing such a small space with like seating inside. Cause then with mm -hmm. 500 square feet, always it's, it can only be like a to go shop. But then we actually managed to put some like seating inside. So this mm -hmm. project actually we from branding, from like architecture, marketing, everything. We we just um, is a complete um, one stop package that we do for them. Mm. So even okay. like the Weisbach logo, like the um, the icon and everything, we we build those um, things from scratch. Mm. And here is like a a bigger. Um, Oh, can you see my see my screen right now? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I can yeah. see it. So yeah. this is like um, it's inside of like a food hall area, and then this is like how it like, and then our brand also like what clients like are very similar as well. Actually, the the pairs of um, the couple client that um they became like really good friend of mine. Like now we hang out and then you know we talk about um uh good, you know anything. Pretty much like we became like really solid um like friends right now. And then um, helping them build this um, this restaurant with the branding. Um, they have a big Hong Kong background that they like um, Stephen Chow, you know, like sushi. <laughs> so and that's why, like for example, like um, uh, on the logo, it's actually um, Zhao Xing Qi's. Um, he was a butcher in one of his movie. It's a, like a really, you know, how Hong Kong people are very um, fascinated by like Stephen Chow's movie. You know, mm -hmm. like some famous one would be like the Kung Fu Soccer or like um, um, this one, the the um, the butcher, the butcher himself is from like a um, one of like his movie, right? Chinese, yeah, one of his movie, like a Chinese James Bond kind of movie. And he was <laughs> holding like the butcher knife like that. So we kind of like build it, build that into the logo and make some fun out of it. Mm. And then you can see in the space also like um, there's an empty wall because like you know after all we have idea of like playing um, Stephen Chow's movie in there also that's one point that um, as an architect we always think about like clients budget that's a that's a way to save budget if you don't have budget for that wall kind of mm. and then also like uh, I built a mahjong table for them mm -hmm. um, so the mahjong table is actually another um, going back to the Instagram friendly element so you can tell like you know looking from the top or from the side it's a very good um, Instagram friendly um, kind of table. Mm. So you're, yeah, it's like a very recognizable, like iconic table that they have. Also, like the um, like I try to put in as much Hong Kong element as we can. Like for example, the the light that we use to in um, in like some wet market. 
like the uh, gai dan dan, like the light on top of mm-hmm. the And those are like very common um, item that you would see in Hong Kong. And mm-hmm. also like steamer because they have like bows, um, they, they have buns, um, they have dim sum. So those are the items that we, although like it's such a small space, we try to like, you know, um, sprinkle everything like um, simultaneously through the store. Mm. So, yeah, I can see that this 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 restaurant you have a lot of um, uh, traditional Asian and Hong Kong style to all put together. So, and also this is not only to make the space uh, more more useful for as a restaurant, but also it serves as a uh, I- iconic um, element in the shop. Also, I, 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 because you share a couple of projects, you always have the nice area to take pictures. I believe that this features wall also is a part of your ideas, right? Right, right. So yeah, so we can, I mean, um, we're just like freshly established kind of um, a studio company kind of, but then like, I think it's not um, because of the size of the project, it's rather of like, you know, how to help the client promote like what they want to present also the, the culture background like we are more um we are very interested into like doing like you know um mixed culture kind of mm-hmm. client actually yeah mm. so wow so thank you for your sharing this project yeah I, I saw a picture a long time ago this is the first time i can talk to you and then learn about what is the element behind what is the reason why you, you came out with this logo this color this atmosphere that's 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 fantastic so i yeah it's kind of uh, funny you uh, all of your project do have very similar elements so you will have very um uh, very good decorative element that could be a, like a photo shooting area so and also they have a theme every project do have a theme to wrap up the whole restaurant so that when the people get inside they're not enjoying the food they also can enjoy the atmosphere the decoration in the space so yeah and also um, I believe that you you're more like the restaurant expert now so can you also share with us um, do you, uh, when you design a restaurant, uh, what kind of consideration you will consider during your development process? I think, um, to be honest, I'm a pretty, um, I, I would call myself like, I'm the architect that who can help saving the budget. Because then mm-hmm. after also like, as, um, as a partner of a restaurant, like a, a, cake, a bakery business, um, I totally understand like how stressful like um, those owner are if they you know if they met some designer that only care about design um, and ignoring all those like technical stuff because like restaurant is is even more like like uh, way more functional um, than you know retail shop or like um, like residential because um, it's it's all about efficiency it's all about like. Um, um, like where they put equipment, where they hide the storage, and so on and so forth. So I feel like um, um, my approach to any project at the beginning will be like, you know, uh, figure out all those um, technical stuff first, and then try to sprinkle the design um, wherever I can. Can you hear me? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sorry. Ah, come on, come on. Get set. Crash. Oh, come on, get set. Can you also say it? Oh, because I, 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 我想問你一啲 design 嘅 philosophy， 所以其實我頭先想想俾個顏色你叫你誒誒、呃，如果你冇冇圖 show 嘅話，可以轉翻係你嘅即係大頭嘅。OK， 咁、okay. 嗱、okay, ，我我繼續用翻呢個 mood， 跟住再 continue 翻啦。So， 誒 ，Ariel，so yeah， I always see your picture on different social media， so I I kind of figure out you when you doing the your design， you do have different theme。And then you're trying to apply to different restaurants, and also this frame is very tied to the culture 
and and with the owner, they want to bring it to their customers. So, and then also you we like to use different counter to create the atmosphere. So when the when the uh, customer go into the restaurant, they not only enjoy the food, but they also can enjoy the design and decoration within the space to understand the culture and the value behind the food. That's very fantastic. So and also I I can say that you are one of my uh, restaurant experts in, in this area. So I just want to ask you a few more things about your de- design uh, concept. So when you doing your design, so can you share with us a little bit about what is your design concept uh, to do the restaurant, and then how you start your uh, communication with the client? Okay. Uh, so so she talk about like uh, philosophy, idea, and all that um, behind my design. I always. I'm always like more motivated like by the client actually. Like for example, like um, I I feel like uh, I like to you know hang out with the client, um, you know have dinner or like kind of understand their background more mm-hmm. before I do design. Like we like sometimes we not only you know see each other in like design meeting, we can you know go to um, you know a more relaxed places to like you know enjoy dinner also like because um restaurant owners they always um are crazy about food so you can take them <laughs> to like different restaurant um and just have them relax and then, um understand more about their background i think that's important like what they really need that's important and then um from their culture then we start um, some design elements so that's mm. uh, pretty much um it's always about people it's always about the story that's mm. kind of my um, if you say that's a philosophy right now, also like another um, another thing is like um, my design is always driven by like more um, technical stuff. I will rather like um, focus on like solving the technical problem. Um, for example, like um, restaurant is always about efficiency. So like um, like trying to solve the space, how, try to like um, do all the like figure out the circulation of how they you know. From the kitchen to the table, kind of um, a relationship between customer and the um, the restaurant. Um, I think that's the most important um, before you start, um, you know, coloring any element or picking material or doing your cat work or like rendering work. Mm. My favorite college tradition, like, um, hmm. Hmm. I feel like. Um, in college well sorry it was because like it, it was quite a long time ago so i have to uh. think like what's the best moment that i have in college i feel like in college it's just like you know it's more um relaxing because you're you're like there's a lot of um opportunity and then like a lot of um you know things to explore and then also like i i enjoy the mixed culture of our college so if anyone knows where East Los Angeles College is, it actually um, a lot of Hispanic um, student, a lot mm-hmm. of um, uh, uh, Asian student, which is um, mainly from like um, Chinese, like from China. And then um, also like we have some Japanese um, classmate, we have like, like people from like Europe. Uh, I like how like, you know, hang out with them, talk to them, learn other culture. Cause then mm-hmm. we're, we're um, immigrants, so then um, I mean, learning other culture make us, um, uh, you know, understand more of like what the other people like to do. And then you can see the differences. You will be like shocked about like, oh, well, you have certain type of, you know, superstitious or certain type of idea, which is great. Like, I like the mixing of those. And then also like sometimes like um, uh, learning different languages too. Like they always teach you like some bad word of another language. And also like um, be able to make friends and then, you know, travel to the country and then those are like beautiful moments that I have. I, I, I do not know how to categorize you because you do <laughs> branding, you do design, but you do well, all kinds of they, things. They, yeah, nowadays they call it um, slasher, like slasher. slasher. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like photographer slash architect slash, I don't know, designer, um, uh, restaurant owner. <laughs> and then a lot more stuff. Branding, um, yeah, like graphic design. Sometimes I do graphic design too. I also uh-huh. do like videos and 
it's just a lot of slash. <laughs> Okay, slash la. So I know that you kind of get inspiration from different area. So mm -hmm. would you mind share with me three uh, in person, uh, three important uh, people, their work, their their design, and then also their thinking is inspiring you, and then also have a uh, for your work right now. Right. Um, yeah. You, I mean, for this question, like I couldn't really name a name. But then I feel like all I, um, everything that I'm doing, I think like I, I couldn't name a person. But then like for example, the work I do, um, first of all, is in, inspired by my client for sure. Like I said, mm -hmm. I really enjoy um, hanging out and like, small talk with them, uh, knowing their background and story, make sure the project is more um, tighter to their personality. Mm -hmm. And then the second of all, I would say like, um, um, I, I was inspired by like my mixed culture like mm. um, I was inspired by like traveling back and forth to Hong Kong or traveling to China to see the clients um, you know to Japan or to anywhere in the world it's just um, it's always about like seeing more stuff and then you get inspired from mm -hmm. so like the mixed culture really inspired me um, I, I enjoyed it um, and then the third thing will be like um, I got inspired by like like um i would say i got inspired by uh the current trend mm. uh, aka like social media mm -hmm. um because i mean i couldn't ignore the part that my company is, is huge um on like doing marketing stuff so like uh by doing marketing stuff and learning from it it actually helped me um uh, uh think more at the back end how to marketing um the whole story itself Mm, that that's wow so i, I know that th you you're very i i, I can say it's non-traditional so because mm -hmm. you know we go to school is a traditional way to under to get knowledge right but the way you 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 pick up your knowledge is not only from the school and it's also from your client from different social media so that's i i, I can see that um you know that's probably will be the future uh chain for the designer as well so mm -hmm. to to get inspiration from every single element they can touch with so and then also uh, the final question is um when the when the people from hong kong uh, even though from china they really want to uh, study abroad in the united states mm -hmm. what is your advice for them um advice i would say like a couple of advice for example be confident with where you're from um, for example, like, I think um, even me and Chi, I think we've been through a lot to um, also struggle a lot with our second language um, kind mm -hmm. of barrier. But then, you know, it's okay to, to speak not fluently in your second language because, you know, um, that means you always have your first language and then, you know, you're from other culture. It's just representing that, um, nothing else. It doesn't hurt your... Um, uh, it shouldn't hurt your self-esteem or self-confidence of like how you present in front of people. Um, a lot of time I see really good um, presenter. They don't speak mm -hmm. a foreign language, but then instead they have like really um, proud, confident of their work and themselves. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one thing, like um, get through your second language uh, barrier, you know, meet people, learn the culture, uh, blend in as much as you can so you can utilize that in your work. And then secondly, I would say like be flexible. Um, mm. That this this advice is actually um, like a like an old friend of mine that he, they give me like a older friend. Um, like that when I was like twenty, they were like already in their fifty. And then at a dinner, they give me this advice um, saying that oh, you want to be an architect? There's you know there it's very tough job, and then it's not you know as maybe you might not be able to earn as much as you think you can or like as you know how people see architects are um but at the same time all his advice is um be flexible like um just like us um we start from from college uh, studying architecture to like a side art studying architecture we go to like a very uh, i would say like a pretty traditional kind of architecture mm -hmm. form. But then at the end, we all find our different way to survive and then enjoy the work that we are doing. Mm -hmm. Like me and you, we are not like traditional architect anymore. 
Yeah. So I think like be flexible and knowing who you are, exploring what you can, instead of like you know, um, oh, um, if you do so many, for example, a lot of people tell me if you do so many, so many things, are you not like professional in one thing? But then I was just saying that like that's just me. I mean, mm. I I enjoy it, and then that's how I am. I I have、mm. to work this way. So be、mm. flexible on like all type of opportunity, and then be flexible on. Um, understanding and knowing who you are, and then work on your most strong、um, element instead of like、um, being shy or being、uh, afraid of your weak weakness. I, th- I think、mm. that's two points that I really enjoy. Yeah, I believe that a lot of people they maybe want to contact you to try to、uh, to learn more about you, and also maybe they want to give you business. So、uh-huh. would you mind、uh, you tell us how the people can find you? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. I I I would say like I would share my Instagram because <laughs>、uh-huh. I feel like nowadays like everyone is、um, talking through like it's just an easy way to communicate also. So、mm-hmm. I, I I would say like、um, share my Instagram and try to like share、um, my working email and then also、um, I'm building like like the website for like my actually there's a photo studio is coming to、uh, is going to come up as well. It's another it's a third business of mine.、Mm-hmm. Um, I will share those、um, with your audience and then I hope you know if you guys have any struggle questions,、um, you know talk to I mean feel free to talk to me. I mean. It's just I, I love to like know your story as well. I love to know your culture background as well. Ooh, okay. Thank you so much, Ariel. So <laughs> I want to take、Thank、this opportunity. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for everyone、uh, they kind of listen to this、uh, interview. And then,、uh, if you want me to bring more、uh, interesting designer, interesting profession,、uh, professions to have a conversation about their work, please share, like, and subscribe my channel. So your help will help me to、uh, let、uh, YouTube、uh, to to reach out to more people. And then with your support, and then this will cover my operations. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye bye. Goodbye. Hi. After the interview, I do have a chance to visit those two restaurants designed by Ariel in downtown LA. The food is absolutely amazing, and I share a couple pictures with you. Hopefully, you like those two restaurants too. Bye.